So there's this one particular passage in Josephus that uh, many Christians love to cite as proof that Jesus as a man actually existed. And this came to be known as the Testimonium Flavianum, or basically the Testimony of Flavius Josephus. And in this passage, uh, Josephus is talking about this one particular time in, uh, in Israel, and he begins speaking about Jesus. And he says, you know, at this time there was a man, if you could call him a man. And he then goes on to talk about all the great things that happened to Jesus. And then, you know, of course, he's eventually uh, crucified, you know, and possibly resurrects and everything else. Now, there are some problems with this particular passage. The way Josephus writes, uh, since he is writing for a Roman audience, anytime he comes across a term that his audience would not be familiar with, he takes a break from his narrative and explains what the term means. And so, when he begins talking about this Jewish Messiah, his audience would have no idea what he's talking about, and so he would need to explain that. And many of the other statements that he makes in this passage would fall under that same category. They are terms that his, uh, his Roman audience just wouldn't be familiar with. They wouldn't understand what the hell he's talking about. And so Josephus would need to explain these things. But he doesn't. Nowhere in there is an explanation for anything. It just goes statement by statement by statement. These are like creedal statements. These are... Um, these are Christian statements about their own faith, what they believe, their creed. And it's full of those. It's actually just a list of creedal statements that reads very similar to the Apostles' Creed or the Nicene Creed. And it's just a quick biography of the life of Jesus that's sort of shoehorned into this narrative that has nothing at all to do with the topic. And so that alone makes the statement kind of stick out like a sore thumb. It doesn't belong in that chapter, and even if it did, then it's filled with terms that Josephus would need to clarify for his audience. On top of that, it comes across like he's saying that Jesus was the Messiah. You know, he's the chosen person. He's the great leader of the Jews. He's the one who should be in charge. But that's not what Josephus was writing about. He was writing that these Romans were supposed to be in charge. And so it betrays a belief that Josephus did not hold. So there are even more problems with it. So beyond that, scholars have actually shown that the Testimonium Flavianum is based on the Gospel of Luke. It contains, I believe, like 23 different statements that come from the Gospel of Luke that are in the same context and appear in the same order. That's highly unlikely to come from anything other than the Gospel of Luke. And so these are creedal statements taken from the Gospel of Luke, which didn't exist at the time that this book was written by Josephus. Beyond that, the earliest copies of Josephus didn't contain it. Christian scholars and uh, church fathers, they love to quote Josephus because Josephus told a great deal about this time period that they were all interested in. However, none of them make any mention of this particular statement. Beyond that, several of them actually express astonishment that Josephus doesn't say anything about Jesus, which they couldn't do if this statement was in there. And I believe it was the... 5th century AD, when a man supposedly discovered the statement and began quoting it. However, the man who previously owned his copy of Josephus knew of no such passage. So it's a 5th or 6th century forgery that was inserted to correct the problem with why Josephus doesn't say anything about Jesus, despite the fact that he was keenly interested in Jewish revolutionaries who were living at that time. So if anyone should have written about Jesus, it would have been Josephus, and he didn't know anything about him. So that, the testimony of Flavianum, it is scholarly consensus that this is a forgery that happened centuries after 
the death of Josephus and was inserted by later Christian scribes. And it doesn't prove anything because it wasn't there. Mm 